Hey everyone, today I need to explain comparison operators. Operators are denoted with the dollar sign. Comparison operators return data based on value comparisons. In previous examples, we would type db.students.find, then list some criteria. Like if we're looking for SpongeBob, we would say name, SpongeBob. Now, what if you would like to find everybody but SpongeBob? Well, you can use the not equals comparison operator. We would enclose it within a document body, precede our value with the not equal comparison operator, dollar sign and E colon, find every name that's not SpongeBob. That gives us four records, Patrick, Sandy, Gary, Larry. SpongeBob isn't within here. That is the not equals comparison operator. Return every document that has a name not equal to SpongeBob. Let's go over a few more. Let's cover less than and less than equals to db.students.find. Find everybody that has an age that is less than, so dollar sign LT for less than, 20. That gives us one document, Gary, who's 18. Or we could use less than equal to. Change LT to LTE. That means our 20 is inclusive. Uh, maybe let's change this to 27. Return every document where the age field is less than or equal to 27. That would give us two results. Sandy, who's 27 exactly, and Gary, who's 18. Let's do greater than. Return every document where age is greater than 27. That gives us three documents. SpongeBob, who's 30. Patrick, who's 38. Larry, who's 32. Let's do greater than equals. That would be GTE. Find everybody that's greater than or equal to 27. That gives us four records. SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, who's 27 exactly, and Larry. So that's less than, less than equals to, greater than, and greater than equals to. You can use more than one comparison operator to find values within a certain range. Let's find every student whose GPA is between 3 and 4. db.students.find. We are searching for GPA. Let's use the greater than equals to comparison operator. Return every GPA that's greater than 3, comma, and less than or equal to 4. So these would be the students that have a good GPA. SpongeBob and Sandy. SpongeBob has a GPA of 3.2. Sandy's is 4.0. You can use more than one comparison operator to give you a range. Now another good operator is the in operator. With the in operator, we can return all records that have one of these matching values. So db.students.find. Let's find any student whose name is within this array. We will pass in a document body, use the in operator, colon, then list an array, an array of values. Let's find anybody whose name is either SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy. So within an array, we will list our values. Return anybody whose name is SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy. There, SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy. With the in logical operator, you will return all documents where one of the values in this array is found within this field. You can also use not in, which is nin. So let's copy this line, clear our screen, paste it, change in to nin, not in. Return all documents where name doesn't have one of these values. That would give us Gary and Larry. We are given everybody's name that's not SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy. Let's switch to Compass and I'll show you how we can do the same thing. Within Compass, you would write your filter within this text box. Return everybody who has a GPA field that is greater than or equal to 3. GTE, 3. 
that gives us SpongeBob and Sandy. Give us everybody who is, let's say, age is less than 27. That gives us Gary. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, comparison operators return data based on value comparisons. And those are comparison operators in MongoDB.